welcome back YouTube. We have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews. And today Google released the final beta for Android 11, which is beta number three. I have it here installing on my Pixel 4 XL. The download size is 246 megabytes and the build number is RPB3.27.0.005. So let's check what's new with the third beta for Android 11. But before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. Let's start with the new changes in the power menu. The first change is in the location of the power button. It has been moved from the middle towards the far right. When you tap on it now, you will get two other big buttons that fill almost half of your display. One to power off your phone and the other one to restart. The second change is related to the cards and passes area. When you tap on the three dots at the top right corner, then tap on view all, then go to your payment methods. Now you can reorganize the payment methods you have in your power menu. And based on the order you have here, it will reflect in your power menu but because I only have one payment method active that's why I only see it here but I can show you a video here someone shared on Facebook that will give you an idea how it works so when you tap on view all then go to payment methods here you can reorganize your payment methods and it will reflect in your power menu next in the power menu you can add new controls called cat controls in this version of Android 11, you will get a new Easter egg, which is a cat that you can play with uh, by giving it water, giving it some uh, food or a toy. And you can add the controls for this cat in your home controls. To activate this feature, you need to first go to your settings and then go to about phone, then scroll to Android version. Tap on Android version a few times until you get the Android 11 logo. Move it three times like this and then it will give you number 11 with a small emoji of a cat at the bottom that goes after a few seconds. Then head over back to your power menu, tap the three dots beside your home controls, add controls, then tap on see other apps. Here you will get a new option called cat controls. When you tap on it, you can choose the controls of the cat you want to add to your power menu. Here I have water bubbler, food bowl, and a toy. Once I select all of them and tap on save, now you will see cat controls are showing and you can swap back to your um, home controls by tapping this small arrow and then tap on home, you will get back your home controls. When you activate the foot bowl and water bubbler, the cat will appear randomly in your notification shade where you can play with, give it a name or give it a toy and so on. If you want to get rid of the cat controls, simply head over again to settings, the same location, which is in Android version, tap on Android version a few times, and then move the wheel this time without getting number 11, only one time, and you will get this sign at the bottom. Then when you head back to your power menu, you will see the cat controls are now gone. Next, the media controls under quick settings. Now when you expand your quick settings like this, you will see a very thin line separating between the quick settings tiles and your media card. Next, the ability to dismiss your media controls from the quick settings. If you have your quick settings minimized, you can dismiss the media controls like this. However, when you expand your quick settings again, they will still show up here. This new behavior also take place even if your media is currently playing. For example, I'm going to play a song, then get back to my quick settings. You will see I can dismiss the media controls while the music is still playing in the background. One more change here. When you expand your quick settings and swipe your finger over the media controls card, it will not be dismissed. It will show you the settings button. When you tap on settings, it will take you straight away to something called media. And here you have a toggle called hide player when the media session ended. When you turn this option on and then dismiss your media controls from here, it will disappear everywhere. But if you want to get it back, in this case, you have to open again the application and hit the play button, it will show up again. But if your music is already playing and you dismissed your media controls like this, the songs will not stop. They still play in the background as you see here and you have to stop them from the app itself. 
You can also access the hide player option from settings directly if you want to by going to settings and then sound. You will have a new menu item here called media. When you go to media, you will see the same toggle back again so you can turn it on or off. Also, there are small visual tweaks in the output device card. When you tap on the output device button right here, you will see now all the icons are surrounded with full circle and instead of a small arch. Also, there is a bigger white space between the name of the song and the output devices. Now let's talk about notifications. Here I have a message from WhatsApp. When I tap and hold on it, you see now I have the priority option back again. I used to have it in the first beta, but after installing the second one, it was taken off. And again, one more time, I have it with the third beta of Android 11. Once you set it as a priority and hit apply for the first time, the phone will give you a card at the bottom of the screen which is this one, explaining to you what is the priority option. It says here, show at top of conversation section, show profile picture on lock screen. You can either tap on got it or settings if you want to change anything. Next, the ability to snooze any notification from your notification shade for a certain time. For example, I have here this message from Facebook Messenger. When I swipe halfway through, I will see a snooze button right here. When I tap on the snooze button here, it's set by default to one hour, but it's a drop down list. When you tap on the drop down list, you see other options like 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or two hours. Or you can undo the action by tapping the undo button. And when you snooze any notification, let's say for 15 minutes and dismiss your notification shade, the notification will disappear and it will come back again after the time you set yourself. The notification snoozing feature works with any type of notification from any app you have on your phone. But I don't recommend using this feature now because after snoozing one of my WhatsApp notifications, I stopped getting any notifications from WhatsApp regardless who sent the message. So the WhatsApp notifications stopped completely. I couldn't find any way to stop the snoozing feature in the middle and I had to wait for the snoozing time to end to start getting my notifications back again. Or I have to open the WhatsApp app itself to see what are the new messages I received. And this issue is not specific to WhatsApp, but it happened also with the Facebook Messenger and the Google app. You can also turn this feature on or off under settings and then go to apps and notifications, notifications, then tap on advanced. Here you will see an option called allow notification snoozing. When you turn it off and swipe the same way, you will see the snoozing button is now gone. And finally, the history button disappeared from the notification shade. And to get your notification history, you have to go to settings and then apps and notifications, notifications, and then you will see your notification history right here. So the button is now gone and the only option to check it is from your settings. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the new changes in the third beta for Android 11 that I managed to get my hands on. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Also, I will create a follow-up video if I found anything new. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my video, and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.